We could all use a little help navigating the news these days. The Consider This podcast wants to give you a hand. Six days a week, we'll help you make sense of the day's biggest news story and what it means for you in less than 15 minutes. Listen now to the Consider This podcast from NPR. From the WGLT newsroom, I'm Lindsay Jones. There would be no ban on amplified sound and no limit on the size of park gatherings in normal under a revised ordinance the town council will consider tonight. Town staff made a number of changes to a nuisance gatherings ordinance after it drew public criticism in October. The new proposal would still move up closing times for town parks from 11 p.m. to 9 and fines would still start at $1,000 per person. The town would not fine party organizers or promoters or property property owners if they cooperate with police in their response to the gathering. The town drafted the ordinance after a series of pop-up parties in Normal during the fall. And the low bid for the long-awaited underpass project beneath the railroad tracks in Uptown Normal is more than $35 million. Normal Public Works Director Ryan Otto says staff will review the particulars of their proposals. So we enter a bid analysis period, so we'll take a look at the bids, analyze those, and uh, make a recommendation to the council. Part of that analysis could include value engineering, where the town picks options or makes choices that will reduce the cost. The bid is nearly three times an early estimate of the project cost back in 2017. The McLean County State's Attorney says her office is reviewing allegations into political fundraising by a county official. Erica Reynolds says she anticipates the need for an external investigation. This comes after claims from a former assistant state's attorney that County Administrator Cassie Taylor was raising money to help get a ballot initiative passed. The referendum proposed eliminating the elected auditor's office. County voters rejected that referendum. County Auditor Michelle Anderson says she would welcome an independent investigation into the matter, and Taylor has not responded to requests for comment. An appellate court has ruled former Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson should be released from jail pending his trial. Grayson has been in custody after his arrest on first-degree murder charges for shooting Sonia Massey this summer. Massey, a black woman, was shot in the face by Grayson after she had called to report a prowler. Her death gained worldwide attention and placed more focus on police hiring and training. There is no timetable for Grayson's release, but a hearing in the case is set for today. I'm Lindsay Jones. We could all use a little help navigating the news these days. The Consider This podcast wants to give you a hand. Six days a week, we'll help you make sense of the day's biggest news story and what it means for you in less than 15 minutes. Listen now to the Consider This podcast from NPR.